Do you see this? I'm wearing like a tank top because it is sunny outside. I don't care that it's 50 degrees. Who said that? Hey guys, it's Melanie. What is up? Today I'm doing a bit of a different video. I am taking myself back to my phase in fifth grade when I would spend hours doing my nails, whether it was Divergent, Floppy Bird. I'm I'm gonna find some old photos. I'm also channeling my inner artist. I haven't painted in a long time, so I figured painting on my nails is the closest we're gonna get to painting. So today I am showing you three Pinterest-inspired nail designs that literally anyone can do. It all takes practice, but I also put in some little tips and tricks here and there to get you started on your nail journey. Other than that, let's get straight into it. Hey guys, I'll show you what I'm going for. I get all my nail designs basically on Pinterest. It's one of my boards, one of my favorite boards. Actually, the very first one that I'm going to be doing seems pretty simple. We're starting off easy. This would look a lot nicer if I had better nails, if I had like acrylics or if I just had like longer nails, but I'm not blessed with a very nice nail shape, unfortunately. I have little baby stubs, but we're still going to make them look cute, okay? So this is what we're going to be going for today. So I'm going to be using four different polishes, and then I'm only going to be using one nail tool, which is just gonna be a tiny little decal brush which I'll show you guys how to make one and this is a lot easier than it seems I know they sell like actual nail brushes but this is how I made mine in the past and I always make them like this just grab a brush and you're just going to slightly trim off little hairs until it's as thin and fine as you want it to be so it's kind of up to your own preference Super simple and then it makes it way easier to add little designs and details on your nails Basically, all I'm going to do is start off by painting on a nice light base coat. This is from Nails Inc. They actually gifted it to me and it is Nail Kale Base Coat. And so it's supposed to be really good and nourishing for your nails, which is helpful because my nails have seen better days. And then once I've done that, I'm going to go into my base color. It's pretty simple. You just use a lighter color for the base. So I'm using OPI in the color Gargantuan Green Grape. What? Wow. Alliteration. Nice job, OPI. I'm just putting on a base coat of this. This color, I really like. It, but it's very very sheer so I had to put a couple coats You can also do this with any color obviously customizable to however you like it And then you're gonna use a darker shade I'm gonna be using Essie's off topic 706 for the design I'm going to use Essie's off topic and use this to paint fun little swirly designs Basically, they're just like different abstract waves. It looks like so I'm kind of just trying to replicate the picture But pretty simple you just let your heart and the brush flow and hopefully it'll look cute and abstracty I do this a lot where I paint like the design on my non-dominant hand and then I just leave my other hand blank It's pretty obvious like I wish I was ambidextrous I am incredibly not. And then I topped it off with my Sally Hansen Insta Dry top coat, and that is pretty much it for the first design. Now on to design number two. This one I am going for a pink look, but once again, you can exchange the colors for any tone or palette you want. I'm starting off once again with a base coat. Pretty self-explanatory, but I find if you're putting this much effort into your nails, you might as well add an extra layer underneath because it just protects your nails and makes your design last even longer. Right here is the design that I'm going for. I got inspiration from this account on Instagram, so be sure to check them out. But I'm just starting off with the lighter shade of the color I'm using. I'm just painting this on my ring and middle finger you can switch this out for whichever finger you want i would sometimes just do a design on only my thumb or only my ring finger if i'm short on time or if i'm just feeling a little bit lazy but i kind of like what she did here with those two fingers and then while i waited for that base color to dry i took the little nail decal brush that i made earlier this just makes it a lot easier to do the little designs and i'm doing kind of like a french tip except it's on both the tip and the cuticle of the nail so i'm using the lighter pink to do the cuticle and then afterwards I go in with the darker pink. There are a bunch of life hacks that you can do to avoid getting nail polish on your actual skin such as using glue or using tape but I just figured that using the little tiny brush works the best for me. We are about halfway done and this is what the nails are looking like so far a little bit bare so we're just gonna go in with the darker shade because this specific nail polish has a pretty small brush I just used the brush that came with the bottle but you could definitely use small nail decal brush or a different small 
paintbrush. You could also use a dotting tool to do this, but I just found it was easiest to position my hand in different ways and use the small brush to make the yin yang design. After that, I went on to the three other nails and just painted basically a French tip. Once again, you could definitely opt for tapes or using just the smaller decal brush, but I just used the brush with the bottle for this. One little tip for this is definitely to rest both of your hands on something sturdy because that makes it so much easier to get a nice clean stroke. And I am just taking the end of my paintbrush and using it as a dotting tool to finish off both my yin yang. This is another little life hack. I definitely use random utensils around the house to opt out a dotting tool if you don't have one. Now for this third and final design, you are gonna need some more polishes. I used four different ones. I love how this gives a very nice ombre effect and starting at the pinky and with the lightest shade, I just went down every nail using a slightly darker shade of brown. Once again, like with all the other nail designs, you could opt out any colors for this. You could also definitely do this with just like a lighter and a darker shade and then just alternate each nail if you would like. But I really love how this gives a dimensional look by using so many different shades. Now onto the thumbs, which is where the party's at, where all the time is gonna be consumed with this nail look. I'm starting off with the lightest color on both the right and left side. As you can see, I use slightly different shades. And then I just went in alternating with all the different browns it doesn't really matter as long as they give a nice layered effect so that they don't blend in so i did like a light and then a dark and layered it basically each heart you paint on top is going to get slightly slightly smaller so it's kind of like an outline for the one before it i believe i painted four layers of hearts on my thumb but it kind of depends on how big your hearts are and how big your nail is another tip for this is as you can see while i'm painting my hearts they don't have the sharp tip i basically just dragged two lines to make the heart shape and it kind of went off my nail and I found this made it a lot easier. But once again, you can definitely use a dotting tool or a small detail brush to help you out with this. And once you're finished laying your hearts, you are all done with this third and final nail design. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more nail videos, cause I think this is actually like the first one I've done. Make sure to let me know in the comments because I'd be doing my nails a lot. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, love you.